We are due for a media collapse. TV media, news media, social media, media in general. We've gotten oversaturated with the things that used to keep our minds going. President Trump is a sign of our times. Some of his popularity is that he doesn't go with the regular flow. Our patterns of this crap that we're in started around 1998, as I've discussed before. 1998 is the beginning of when we stopped being genuinely creative. It's when our real creative flow began to deteriorate. It's when we started trying to be edgy, not for the sake of actually being creative, but instead for shock value and, of course, to make money. It's when shows like Jackass began. I think that was 2000 when that started. Was it 2000 or 2001? And we can only take so much of that kind of thing before it gets boring. And let's be clear, when society starts to get bored, we start to make up shit to be either offended at or a number of other things that can eventually become rather negative. 1998 is also when we replaced genuine creativity with just trying to refine things, to refine what we have already. To refine what has already been well-defined. It's when we started coming up with new genre names to describe older genres that have had ever so slight things tweaked with it. Like in music, oh, it's not trance, it's put some word in front of trance. Because look, instead of these chords being done staccato, they're, they're held instead. Therefore, it's a new type of trance. You know, that type of mindset. It's not rock, it's something metal. When we lose our creativity, things start to collapse as far as what keeps our minds occupied. I don't know if people put enough emphasis on what keeps our minds occupied. It's actually really important. It's important when it comes to a civilization. People somehow just take it for granted. Our minds have to be occupied with something. It's not actually possible to fully clear your mind, unless you've had a lobotomy. You can meditate, but you can't actually clear your mind. You're just thinking about different things. Those who have said that real, genuine creativity can be the new edginess well, you're, you're right, at least to a degree. But where is that real creativity going to draw from? We're always drawing from something. This is why the push against cultural appropriation is killing us. Those of you pushing against cultural appropriation are literally killing the heart of creativity. And our creativity is our drive. Greed is another one of our drives, but creativity is what can make that happen. It is the drive of our civilization. Those of you pushing against cultural appropriation are killing what makes Western industrialized civilizations what they are. So now people are afraid of coming up with new ideas because, oh no, what if those new ideas are based slightly on older ideas from other places? What if? Um, yeah, that's how we come up with new ideas. We take older ideas and try to put a new spin on them, or try to add something new to them, or approach older ideas in a completely different way. And sometimes we'll take ideas that were seldom seen, ideas that barely anyone knows about, and we try to bring those things out in the limelight. Oh no, a cultural appropriation! So as we destroy what it is that makes us creative, we're going to see all the types of media that we've relied on for so long start to collapse. It's going to affect TV, movies, social media, supposedly alternative media. We're going to see our media bubble pop in ways we never thought was possible. It doesn't matter how much money these types of media are currently making, either. That's not how you measure this type of thing. I mean, heck, look how well the internet was doing right before the dot-com bubble burst in 2000. 
We're in for a wake-up call and an extremely rough ride. We need to stop caring where we get our creativity from and just start being creative again. One example of this might be, let's say if you're a musician, and there's a type of music you hate, but you're finding that something that you're making reminds you of the type of music you hate. Well, you need to not care whether or not it comes from a type of music you hate. Make it anyway. We need to stop caring about how much money our creativity may make us and just start being creative again. One could say that we need a little bit of Dadaism right now. We need some silliness, we need some absurdities, and we need to throw away the fear of cultural appropriation when we're doing it. We can't just rebel against oppression either, perceived or otherwise. We need to be creative regardless of all this crap and regardless of how much money it may not make.